Hello, and welcome to Keep Off the Borderlands, a podcast about not playing RPGs. Hear me out. I'm hoping that's going to change as my circumstances change. But for now, if you think of this as kind of like role play rescue, except we may end up having to eat each other. My name's Spencer, a.k.a. Free For All. Let's see where this adventure takes us. So, keep off the borderlands. Um, what's it all about? Well, apart from being a play on words that I'm far too pleased with for somebody who's trying to pass themselves off as a grown adult, um, it's really a reference to my gaming history. I haven't really played anything since the 80s. And it wasn't until a couple of years ago when I came across some old gaming stuff up in the loft that I uh, decided to pop online and have a look at the state of things. It seemed there'd been a few new editions of D&D, a fourth edition, which half the internet appeared to hate, and a recently released fifth edition, and everyone and their mothers appeared to be playing it. There was something called Indie Gaming and the OSR, both of which piqued my interest. And the first game I purchased as a PDF was Apocalypse World, uh, which was a really interesting read, actually. But I did struggle to understand a lot of it. It struck me as a very interesting book about how to run RPGs. But the rule set didn't really make a lot of sense to me. There was a lot of terminology I just didn't get. But I loved the whole idea of playing to see what happens, doing as little prep as possible and um, letting things sort of emerge organically through play. What interests me is the exploration. So, uh, yeah, I'm currently involved in a a play-by-post game, which I'm really enjoying. It's uh, Rhesus or Rhesus, I'm not sure how you say it, but um, I'm playing a self-medicating alchemist, kind of loosely based on the, uh, what's the character's name out of Fringe, the Walter Bishop, and uh, yeah, I'm just having real fun with that. That's kind of like a tentative steps. Back into gaming. Um, I've got a whole list of excuses for why I'm not playing. Uh, One is that um, I live in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I live in the Scottish Highlands. Uh, I moved here about seven years ago up from uh, Essex, which is in the southeast. I live just outside of London, a very highly populated area, living in the shadow of a great big shopping mall called Lakeside. And to kind of put that in perspective for those who live across the pond, it's like moving from Newark in New Jersey to, say, the hills of Boise, Idaho. Very different environment, but uh, it's fantastic. Certainly no regrets. One of the things that inspired that move was uh, wanting a change in lifestyle. I have mobility issues, so getting out and about is problematic. As for playing online, I don't really have a lot of space at home to be able to do that. We run a B&B, or at least my wife does, uh, which means that our personal space is a little restricted. And I've also got a a two-and-a-half-year-old daughter that pretty much takes up all the energy I have at the moment. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So finding the time and the space is an issue. 
at the moment, I've just been looking at, I mean, I'm a real fan of Rules Light stuff. There are certain things that really pique my interest, Maze Rats and Knave uh, into the odd, and Troika. Uh, I could happily just sit and roll up a load of characters. Uh, yeah, I've just caught the tail end of G+, and the movement over to MeWe, yeah, I felt a little bit less of an outsider. I uh, just felt really welcomed, and, and then discovering Anchor on top of that sort of took it up another level, and it made it a lot easier for me to maybe contribute something. And I think that has been one of the things that's also kept me on the fringes this sense of wanting to bring something to the table, especially when I'm not actually playing anything. Apart from uh, Colin dropping me in it by uh, <laughs> just telling everyone that I've got a podcast, which has made me make one. Also listening to the wonderful Happy Whisk, your energy and openness, and you, you just cut through the BS and just get out there and do it. Uh, there's something really infectious about that. Also, um, yeah, Role Play Rescue, Che Webster's great show with just its focus on getting back to gaming. And although, you know, I'm still kind of failing to launch there to a certain extent, that's really ticked my boxes. And I, I yeah, have to put a shout out to uh, Ray Otis as well for um, uh, actually contacting me through good reads of all places and just just getting a message from him kind of um, drew me in a little closer so thanks for that and all the all the anchors I try and listen to you all um, and uh, yeah there's even more of us now so that's it that's my first attempt and maybe there'll be more who can tell? I do like a nice ambiguous ending. <laughs>